this set of papers um, show two different sides of the story of the transits of Venus expeditions that were organised from Greenwich, where I am today, um, in 1874. Most of them focus on a particular expedition. There were five of them, um, and a lot of them are recordings from the expedition to Hawaii, to the Sandwich Islands, as they were then known. But we can tell a whole story. So there are papers from the official collection of the Royal Observatory in Greenwich um, that talk about the organization of the expedition and the four others, and how the observers needed to be trained and equipped and um, organized so that um, a whole series of expeditions could set off overseas in order to make a particular observation. And their importance is that um, making these observations from several places at once at the same time um, across the globe is a way of measuring solar parallax, so getting a sense of the distance between the Earth and the Sun, something that's now known as the astronomical unit. Um, so getting that measurement um, precisely can give a sense of the scale of the solar system um, in much, much better terms than was known before. But we've also got some amazing papers from a private collection belonging to Charlotte Tupman, which give a very different um, sort of view. So rather than being official papers and journals that were going to be sent back to the collection of the observatory, we have um, some private papers that um, were there for individuals to keep a sense of what was going on, but also to share amongst the group, um, to share the annoyances of the expeditions um, and perhaps the joys as well, and above all, to um, enjoy the expedition as a group, as a set of comrades um, of observers. So we have these amazing series of caricature drawings that take us on the whole expedition, right? Leaving from Greenwich, um, going overseas, taking several different ships in order to get to Honolulu, um, set up their observations there, and um, then make the crucial observation, among many others, um, and then all the way back home to Greenwich again. So we get to know the five characters, the observers um, on that expedition, and all the people they meet on the way and in Honolulu. The archives that we have in this collection feature three individuals particularly. One is the man who effectively organised all of the British expeditions for the transit of Venus in 1874. So he was George Lyon Tupman. He was a captain in the Royal Marine Artillery. And um, he was an astronomer. He enjoyed uh, making observations, but he was above all a career military man. So this was taking time out, spending years here at Greenwich um, in order to plan the expeditions, train all the observers, and then do those calculations afterwards. So we have his journals, um, both for that process at Greenwich, identifying and training astronomers, um, many of whom had never done astronomy before. So they were, uh, like him, officers, uh, usually from the Royal Navy, which had close connections with the Royal Observatory. So most of them were that. Um, one who was not um, was also a Royal Marine Artillery officer, a lieutenant, who was uh, called Noble. Uh, he was uh, the man who drew the caricatures. So he's not someone who is known to historians of astronomy generally. We have his name, uh, but we don't have um, many other details about him at all. I'm trying to, to uncover them because he really brings his voice back into this story. He was someone who clearly shared all the adventures, all the pains, all the joys, all the triumphs. And we really get a sense of the drudgery from, I think, Noble's drawings. We get them mentioned in the written journals uh, of Tupman and others, but they are just a line saying, you know, Noble was busy calculating whatever it was. But from Noble's pictures, they say a picture speaks a thousand words, and a caricature really does that. It um, shows the frustration, it shows the time spent, it shows the tiredness, um, but also it shows um, the relief um, when things go right um, and when things are over as well. There is one of my favourite pictures. It's called the Astronomer's Chorus, and it shows um, the four astronomers who were based at the main station, known as Station B in Honolulu, when they'd finished not just that one vital observation of the sun on the 8th of December 1874 when Venus transited the sun, but they'd also finished the many, many, many repeated observations um, in order to establish their location 
extremely accurately. So they needed to know their longitude and latitude um, as precisely as they could so that it could be compared with the observations made at other stations. This took months, and you can really see why drawing a picture of people just whooping it up and having a dance at the end. They probably didn't do that, but you can see that's how they felt.